It's 65 degrees out today. You know what that means? Let's roll. All right, ready to roll. Got everything situated, got all the tools out, and basically today we are gonna be working on enclosing this part of the house. It's the last opening for this side of the house. And I'm crossing my fingers that we're gonna get everything welded and set up today. We'll see how it goes. But that's the goal, so let's get to it. So this is the area where we will be working today, and we are basically going to do the same thing we've done on the rest of the entrance structure. Which, if you haven't watched how we built the entrance structure, you can check it out here. We are going to use the leftover panels from the cutouts of the container and install them into this opening. So let's get going and get everything set up for the day. So this is the last time I'm going to be able to do this. Hopefully by the end of the day, this area will be enclosed. First up, we wanted to cover this sliding glass door to protect it against any debris from us working on the panels. What's cool about having a metal house is you can use magnets everywhere, so that really comes in handy when we want to cover large areas. Okay, time to work. Grinder mode activated. Way back when we poured the floating slab, we ended up getting some concrete on top of this C-channel. So first thing we have to do is remove the concrete and clean the steel. Instead of using a bunch of our sanding discs, I decided to use a chisel to remove majority of the concrete first and then go back over it with the sanding disc. The prep work is really important and makes the setup and overall project flow much easier. One of the hardest tasks to do with the grinder is to grind over your head. It's really challenging and tiring, but good thing Viant is so strong. <laughs> Almost done with grinding. Next up, we're gonna take the panel and clean the panel and prepare it to be installed. Tacked into place, 
and then welded. But first we gotta clean the edges, so that's next. But first, a word from today's sponsor. These days, we spend a lot of time sitting, and that's why it's important to have a good chair. Whether you're a gamer, crafter, content creator, or online shopper, the FlexiSpot C7s got you covered. The chair is super easy to set up, and with multiple adjustment points, it's easy to find the perfect fit for maximum comfort. The lumbar support cushion detects subtle changes in your posture and automatically adjusts itself as you move around to ensure constant support. The headrest, back support, armrest, and seat are all adjustable, and the mesh fabric is breathable and light. Designed for all heights, the C7 fits almost everybody. This is honestly the most versatile ergonomic chair that I've ever tried, especially because I like to move around a lot while I work. The FlexiSpot C7 also has enough space in the seat area to sit with your legs up, which I love to do. When I want to take a break, or when Vyant and I want to brainstorm, we can activate chill mode, recline back, and let our minds do the work. I never knew what a huge difference having a good chair can make, and the FlexiSpot C7 has really surpassed all of my expectations. I've never had a chair with such a customized fit, and there's no going back. If you sit for any extended period of time, this is the chair for you. With free returns within 30 days, why not give it a try and see if it will improve your workflow? Be sure to click the exclusive link in the description and don't forget to use our exclusive discount code. Special thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it.
All right, so this panel is pretty much ready to go. Now we're going to use this laser level from Dovo to mark where to install the panel. I cannot even begin to tell you what a game changer this laser level is. It makes leveling anything super quick and easy. Sometimes the panels can be a little bent or warped, so using the Dovo laser level and marking where to install the panel helps us make sure the wall will be straight and level. Okay, so we just finished prepping the first panel that's gonna go right here in this part of the opening and now we are using this amazing laser level to find the area where we will have to install the panel i'm going to link this product in the description in case you'd like to pick one up it's a great product and we really use it all the time Okay, so we have the panel in the opening right there, and there's one little section up there, right along that side, that's just a little bit too big, so we need to put the panel back on our sawhorses right here and grind down that little section so it will fit in the opening, and then we should be ready to tack it into place. We have to grind about like one eighth from the top. So yeah, it's not, not much. Deal. Just fitting everything is always like, you know, little adjustments. Crossing my fingers, this is the last round of adjustments and that I can start welding after this. We'll see. Sometimes it just takes a minute to kind of get everything to fit well and make sure everything is level and... Yeah. It is what it is. We shall continue. After a few adjustments, the panel is ready to go. So now we're going to set up all the welding equipment and get started. Alright, here we go. 
Oh my gosh, finally got it in place. It's lightly tacked up there and down there. So first thing I'm gonna do is go around and put way more tacks so that it's really held in place while I weld it. I'm gonna work on welding this panel while Viant puts the other panel on the sawhorses and works on cleaning the edges so that way we can have a little assembly line system and both be doing something at the same time. On we go. Once this wall is completed, we will go back and paint everything black to match the rest of the house. We're planning on leaving the corrugated panels as the exterior of the house, but we potentially might cover a few areas with siding. I don't know, we'll see how things evolve with time.
Ooh, that was a long day as you guys probably can see on camera it is night out it's dark it's pretty late but we have almost the whole opening enclosed we got two panels welded in we just have to do this panel right here where Vion is but we're gonna tackle that tomorrow call it a night because we're pretty dead but good progress Ah, feels like another long day of grind weld pain repeat. <laughs> so as you guys saw yesterday, we almost got this entire opening closed. Now we just have to do this little area right here and a small area in between the tube and the corrugation for the house. So I'm gonna have to plasma cut this last piece to fit in the opening because it's just a little bit too big. And we're just going to do the same uh, protocol as yesterday. So come along for the ride. I'm pretty positive we'll finish today, but I'm not going to jinx it like yesterday. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. One eighth, right? So we have to overlap at least one fourth, right? Yeah. 17 one fourth. Yeah. All right. Another thing we use the laser for is drawing straight lines. It's really convenient and helpful for drawing long straight lines. Now that we have our mark, it's time to plasma cut. Okay, the piece is cut to size and now we're working on cleaning the edges so I can weld it into the opening. Once we were sure about the placement, Viant held the panel in place while I tacked it to the frame. Thank you. 
Once I was done tacking it, I went ahead and welded everything. This is basically the same protocol we did for all of the openings of the entrance structure and so far everything has been turning out really well. It's kind of funny because we're basically creating like a DIY container by taking the panels from the container and installing them into these openings. We did it! We got 99% of this side of our house sealed. Uh, my neck is a little bit sore just from all the welding, but everything went well. And now we are working on the last part, which is just a small space between this tube and the corrugation of the container. And by the way, today is gray sweatshirt day, in yep. case you <laughs> missed the memo. And red headband. Oh. You need to change yours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> funny. Just this, so. Yeah, okay, so let's show you what we're doing over here. All right, so we have a small space, I don't know if you can see, in between here and here, where we're just gonna put a flat bar all along the length from there all the way up there, and that should close it and uh, be good. This is the flat bar that we're gonna use right here. It's just some leftover that we have from other projects. And Viant already went and cut it. So it's the good size. Now we need to clean the spot while it's going. Good job. So we're gonna clean here. Well, actually Viant's gonna clean because it's too close for us to be too in there. And then weld it in. And that should be it for the day because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be dark after that. So let's keep on rolling. Well, we did it. We managed to finish. It is dark, as you can see, but we got it done. This whole side is enclosed now. That was a lot of grind weld paint repeat, but it's all good. We finished our task and uh, we're super tired. That was a long two days for us, but happy to be one step closer to have the house enclosed. And Sorry. yeah, everything went really well, so it's good.
good. We're just tired. My face hurts from my mask and all my gear. Anyways, stay tuned to see what we do next. Another step completed and another step closer to completing our container house. This was the last opening of the entrance structure to close up, so we are really happy to finish this step. We only have a few more things to do until we are ready to start the interior of the house, which is really exciting. I want to give a special thank you to all of you who continue to watch our videos and support our channel. We really appreciate all the comments, likes, and support you bring us with each video. Thank you so much. We have a lot of really cool projects to show you all in the near future, so stay tuned to see what's next on Pacific Pines Ranch. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.